Hello everybody, I am Zesty Esty. Welcome to my channel where I show you how to make my favorite recipes and DIYs. Today I am going to be sharing with you how I make body powder. Body powder is a super versatile, awesome product to have on hand, especially during the summer months. It helps keep moisture and sweat at bay, so it's really great for working out. It's awesome for deodorizing your body and helping your skin feel nice and smooth throughout the day. And you can also use it to freshen up your bed sheets, your gym bag, and even your shoes. This body powder that I'm showing you how to make today is completely natural and there's no talcum in it. You're going to need four ingredients, um, cornstarch, baking soda, benzenite clay, or kaolin clay. This is a white kaolin clay for sensitive and dry skin. I purchased mine at Healthy Planet, but I'll make sure to put some links in the description down below for you guys for other options or stories where you can find this product. I'm also using some essential oils. I'm going to be splitting my batch up into two. So half of my batch, I'm going to be using lavender and grapefruit oil. And for the other half, I will be using tea tree oil and a little bit of lavender oil. The reason why I'm splitting my batch up into two is because I'm going to be using my lavender and grapefruit scented body powder for general uses on my body. And I'll use the one with the tea tree oil to refreshen up my shoes and my gym bag and uses like that. You're also going to want to use a bowl and a whisk and you're gonna need some containers to store your body powder in. You can use um, some salt and pepper shakers for this. You can buy these at the dollar store. If you wanna make your own, it's super easy to make as well. I use a recycled uh, yogurt container with a cupcake liner and a rubber band and a pin. So I'll show you how to do that as well. It's super easy. And that's pretty much it guys, so let's get to it. Start by measuring out one fourth of a cup of baking soda, one fourth of a cup of benzenite clay, and one fourth of a cup of cornstarch. Next, add those ingredients into a bowl and mix this up until all of the ingredients are combined and you see no visible clumps. If you decide to make the two different body powders like me, you'll want to split your mixture up into two separate bowls. For the powder that's best for feet, gym bags, and shoes, I'm going to be using the tea tree oil. I added eight drops of tea tree oil and six drops of lavender oil. Once you've added your essential oils, go ahead and gently whisk this. If you see any clumps, just use your whisk to gently break them up. This should take about a minute or two before you have a nice smooth consistency. I'm going to continue on by making my other batch of body powder and for this one I'm using the grapefruit oil and the lavender oil and I used eight drops of each of the oils, so eight drops of lavender and eight drops of grapefruit. Once you're done, you are ready to store your body powder into your container. If you're going to be making your own, you're going to need a recycled container with a plastic or rubber lid, as well as a cupcake liner, a rubber band, and a pin. What you're gonna wanna do is place your cupcake liner on top of your container and use your hands to mold it over the rim. Then you're gonna wanna take your rubber band and secure the cupcake liner on top of the container, making sure that you're forming a tight seal with the cupcake liner and rubber band. I'm just using my fingers here to gently pull on it so that it has a nice firm and tight seal all around the container. When you're done that, you can take your pin and you're just going to poke some holes. I just started at the middle and I went all the way around evenly dispersing the holes. Once you get an even amount of holes all around your lid area, you're gonna wanna go around and make the holes a little bit bigger by reinserting the pin and just kind of jiggling it around gently so that you don't rip it, but so that you make the holes big enough for the powder to come out easily. Once you're done making your little container, you can now fill it. Just simply remove the cupcake liner and use a spoon to fill your container. 
I purposely made the holes small on this container so that the body powder would come out nice and fine. And as you can see, it blends in super nicely onto your skin. Then I went ahead and filled in my other store-bought container. Because the salt container has bigger holes, you obviously are going to get a little bit more powder coming out, which is totally fine if you were to use this for your skin because it still blends in really nicely. You just get more product out. Feels really, really nice, guys. It smells and feels amazing. And that's it, guys. How easy was that? As you can see, I have my two different containers here. I love the one with the lid because you can easily throw it in your gym bag if you wanted to take it somewhere. Making two different scents is totally optional. You can totally just make one batch of the same scent and you can double and triple this recipe. I like making small batches like this just because I like putting them in these little cute containers. If you've enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe for new videos every week. I am releasing recipe videos on Wednesdays and DIY videos on Sundays. Thank you so much again for watching guys. I'll see you soon.